Hi everyone. I want to show you some of the basics of um, dimensioning in 2020. So um, it's actually fairly easy to add in dimensions or delete dimensions as needed. So um, for example, let's say that I did not want this dimension on this side. And this is just, um, I just drew this very quickly, the walls, the sink base, and the door here, just to have something to work with. Your plan will probably be much more complex than this. But if I didn't want this dimension here, I would simply click on it, click once, and then I would just hit delete on my keyboard. Okay, so that's an easy way to delete a dimension. Now, if I need to add a dimension, 2020 automatically puts dimensions in for us, but there might be a dimension missing. And this frequently happens if you have an island. You might need to add a dimension between your perimeter cabinets and the island. So to do that, you come up here to your ribbon and you click on annotations. And probably the one that I use the most frequently is the point to line dimension. So over here on the left, there's point to line or there's line to line dimension. And um, both of these are very easy to use. So for example, let's add in that dimension that I just erased. So I would click line to line dimension and I would first select the interior wall, the interior side of this wall, and then I would click the interior side of this wall and now see how it popped that dimension in there. Okay, so now you can click on that dimension and you can move it wherever you want. Okay. So that's probably the easiest way. So for example, like I was saying, if you have an island, if I needed to know the difference from the face or the dimension from the face of this cabinet to the inside of this wall, I would come up here to line to line dimension. I would click the face of that cabinet and then the interior of that wall and there's my dimension. And again, I can click on it and move it wherever I want. Something else to think about when you're adding dimensions to 2020 are the center line symbols. The center line symbols do not automatically show up. So here I have a center line to the center of my sink. That notice how the dimension automatically popped in there. 2020 put the dimension to the center as soon as I place that sink, but I don't have that center line symbol. So to add it, if you go back up to your ribbon, and look under the items tab. So we're in the items tab and you're looking for this. It's like a blue um, flower or like a blue gear. And if you hover your mouse over it, it will pop up and say symbols. So if you click on that, this is what you're looking for. And then a new window pops up and these are all the different symbols you have to choose from. And you have things like outlets, um, ceiling, connections, and we're going to go all the way down here to where it says miscellaneous symbols. I'm going to double click on miscellaneous symbols, and now you'll see that we have two different center line dimensions. We have a center or center line symbols, excuse me. We have a center line symbol for the floor plan, and we have a center line symbol for the elevation. I want the center line symbol for the floor plan because I'm currently working in the floor plan right now. So I'm going to click on that and click place. And you'll see that it is attached to my mouse. So I can move it right above that center line and click. Okay, and then I can close that. So there's my center line symbol. So you can easily add symbols um, by going to items and that blue flower. And then you can easily add um, dimensions by going to annotations and then line to line or point to line. You'll also see under annotations, you have the option to add notes. So that's a great way to add any necessary text. Okay, so those are some of the tips. I hope this helps you out as you add dimensions to your plan.